I wish to use this platform to announce that I'm honorably resigning with immediate effect from the new patriotic party to contest for the high office of the president of the Thank you, thank you. Th thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. To contest. Thank you very much. To contest for the high office of the President of the Republic of Ghana in the 2024 general elections as an independent presidential candidate. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. To, to actualize this goal, can we have some quietness, please? To actualize, to actualize this goal, I will establish and lead a new movement for change in Ghana. The brand logo for the movement is the Monarch Butterfly. Which, which politically symbolizes change and transformation, hope and positivity. It also communicates strength, endurance, spirituality, and trust, which are all key traits that I cherish as a political leader. In Akan, it is known as Afrofanto. The brand motto of the movement is Ghana will rise again. Ghana, Ghana will rise again, which symbolizes hope for the future of Ghana. The new movement will be led and powered by the youth of Ghana. Out, out of the over 17 million registered voters in the 2020 general elections, the youth aged 18 to 35 years, constituted over 9.4 million voters, representing 55% of the total voters. This is a constituency that you cannot ignore. It is acknowledged without doubt that the youth represent the future of our country, and yet they constitute the most vulnerable section of our society. From available statistics, 85% of all prison inmates in Ghana are aged between 12 and 35 years. This is profoundly alarming. Fellow countrymen and women, it is also worth noting that every year, over 300,000 graduates from tertiary institutions in Ghana, excluding those from secondary institutions, enter the job market with little or no hope of finding a job. Clearly, public sector employment is not an option with an already over bloated public service. This phenomenon of a pervasive employment crisis 
is gradually becoming a national security threat, as evidenced by the recent Occupy Jilobi House demonstrations. The initial reaction of the police in manhandling some protesters is not the solution to the problem. What What Ghana, what Ghana needs now is change, which will provide long-lasting solutions to the challenges confronting our country. Fellow countrymen and women, I'm using this platform 